Warning, zero style is known to cause gas or gear acquisition syndrome. Prolonged exposure to me and my vlog may cause you to buy knives, flashlights, patches, pouches, EDC junk you may or may not need. You have been warned. In a world of EDC pouches, one pouch stands out amongst the rest. It is the Data Crew Water Slider. And this is the new 400 denier version. This orange waterproof fabric gives it a very sweet aesthetic. And we have got a whole aesthetic set of orange and yellow patches this week on Patch Me Outside. Welcome back to Zero Style. I'm your host, Zero, the cyberspace hero. I've got an orange theme for Jens this week. This is the Data Crew What a Slider in 400 orange denier. Denier is a waterproof fabric that is coated, so it sort of has a slightly waxy texture to it. Hits the light just right, and man, does that color pop. On the back, I've got a wide variety of orange and yellow ranger eyes to show you, but I think we're gonna do this patch me outside style, so come on, let's do it. Man, it's cold out here. All right, from my dudes over at Data Crew, their new gas station spoof. I don't know if this is GL or 9L or whatever, but man, do I love this spoof, hilarious. Up here from Crow Gear, we've got the Copper That Smell Elemental Patch, which is going to be a little thematic hint for today. The Space Pirate from Twilight Patch Co. Man, this looks like it's straight out of Futurama, but it's all original artwork, and I totally dig it. From Hate, EDC Booze, The Pumpkin Bucket. A brand new little Gunther sliding down the hill from Phytronics. A little bit of Mario Star Love from Tactical Outfitters and the Plague Orange Unlucky Misfortune Cat, which was gifted to me by my good friend, a box of sharp objects. Ben, I appreciate that was a great Christmas gift, buddy. All right, it is too cold to do this whole episode outside, so let's uh, take it inward, all right? <sighs> it is cold out there. Now that we've got these lovely patches aside, let's take a look at this pouch once again. There is an external zipper on the back side here that has a pocket that goes pretty much half the length of the pouch. And then there is another exterior zipper that goes all the way around the sides and opens up clamshell and shows you all the stuff you've got inside, including more Ranger eyes from Data Crew, from their gas station series. From Kokui Creations, The Heavy Arms Gundam, Inkpot Artworks, Graph Jaw, and 52 Graves Protect Your Neck Wu-Tang Patch. So, let's start with the knife. EDC Gear Knives, it just seems right, doesn't it? This is the Fox Knives Baby Core in Natural Linen Micarta. This is the Brass Backspacer Edition. I've got a Lynch Northwest Deep Carry Bronzed Anno Clip on this, and then a full-size Concealed Micarta Combat Bead on the back side. we got a flipper tab right here. Deploys the knife. You can see right here on the back we've got the Vox Naze, the knife designer's logo, and M390 Steel. Other side, we've got the Fox Knives little Fox logo. You can see this beautiful acid washed blade. I just sharpened this guy, so we are gleaming up here. Nice little drop here on the front. Gives you a nice air go if you really want to choke up to try and do some precision cuts on this, but otherwise it's just a beautiful little blade shape. This is a sharpening choil, not a finger choil. The scale has a little milling pattern right here to show you where your index finger goes. You get a very nice grip on this knife. I like the bead for a little bit of extra grip on this. If you drop it or whatever, it's easy to pull back into your hand, as well as improved ergonomics when it comes to deploying this knife out of your pocket or out of a pouch. There's also a spidey hole here on the back. You can thumb flick this if you want. You can spidey flick it if you want. However you choose to deploy it, this is a very nice knife. From Fox Knives, the Baby Core in Natural Linen Micarta. You know how I love my Micarta. That guy goes right here in the back. You can see here the front section of this has a nice stretchy elastic section here on it that is holding the Fix by Silex Gear. This is a new acquisition of mine. This is an EDC screwdriver. Thinking about the tools that I need every day, I find myself wanting a screwdriver. This is an all-in-one kit that holds four bits magnetically, two on either side, and then there is an extension driver that fits into place here on that side, but you don't actually necessarily even need that. 
So if we pull this little Phillips head right here, we can reveal the magnet that is inside. You will notice there is super glue on that magnet because full disclosure, when I got this thing, one of the magnets pulled out and I had to glue it back in by hand. It wasn't a big deal, but it happened like the very first day. So it kind of shaped my impression a little bit. You can see right here on the front, there is a spot that the bit just goes right into and then is magnetically attached. So it is not going anywhere. So you can just use it like this, but if you need to be a little deeper, pull the extender out, attach it to the other side, put your bit right in there, and you've effectively doubled the length of this screwdriver without adding too much to it. You can pull this out and insert it here on the side. And what this does is this lets you get extra grip and more torque. If you have something that you really, really need to tighten and the sort of just regular grip like this just isn't doing you enough, it's really cool that they've integrated this feature into here. And it's it fits good in the hand too, as long as you don't need a ton of depth because this isn't magnetized once it's in here. But if you push it all the way down to this lowest section, I mean, it's tight and it is not going anywhere. It really allows you to wrench on some screws if you have to. Here, I'll show you how these go back into the side here. You can see these bits, you just gotta get them lined up right, push them in there and they slide right into place. The magnets hold them in when the magnets are glued in uh, quite nicely. I've really enjoyed this thing. I've only had it for about a week. I've probably used it 20 or 30 times, which that's a lot for something that's brand new. I mean, I wanted to test it and I was trying, but like I said, I find myself wanting a screwdriver day to day, whether it's repairing a a toy, um, tightening a knife pivot, adjusting my wife's glasses, changing the batteries on something. There are lots of reasons to carry a screwdriver with you every day. The fit is one solid piece of black aluminum. It's not super heavy, but it's also not super light, and it's thick, but it's kind of got to be that thick. It's just barely more thickness than the bits themselves that it needs to hold and then actually use correctly. So yeah, that is the fix from Silex Gear, a new acquisition, an EDC screwdriver that I've been enjoying. Right here in the little webbed section of the front part of the pouch, slide that guy right in there for a perfect fit. Now here on this side, we've got a variety of stuff. Let's start up here with the flashlight. From Prometheus Lights, this is the Copper Beta QR flashlight with the pocket clip configuration. I've dipped this thing in a bath of liver of sulfur and actually forced this patina. I really love the way the darkened sections of the Lolos have really come out with this light. This is a twisty deployment flashlight. Give it a little turn to the right, turns on one, two, three different brightnesses, depending on if you turn it quick, one, two, three different times. I don't want to blind you too much by showing you this. At its high end, it goes for about 90 to 100 lumens. I can't exactly remember how much, which is plenty for everyday use. This is the perfect kind of flashlight to keep Keep with you when you need to look under your seat for something in the night when you don't want people to wake up by turning on the lights the one lumen moonlight mode of this light is great I have no problem with a twisty deployment flashlight I actually like it more than the tail switch just a personal preference you actually have to buy this pocket clip cap separately it comes with this thing called the quick release I have the Kappa QR, this is the keychain version of Hermetheus thing. You can see right here, this sort of, just give it some force and it pops off. There is some springs on the inside and then just a shape. I like to use the lanyard on the back side to just pull off to get the cap off. You can see the cap is two pieces. There is the individual cap itself and then the titanium pocket clip. It just sort of sits into that. But when you buy this flashlight, it actually comes with one of these quick release tops. Get it lined up, it snaps right in like that. I personally have a big ass lanyard on the back of mine because that's just how I roll. But this is cool. If you want a flashlight that's really easy to deploy, putting a lanyard on the back of this thing makes it real easy to get out. If you want this to be a keychain light, it's easy to detach and just pull, use the light, reattach it to your keys, and you're good to go. But as much as I live the lanyard life, I have to admit, I really do like the pocket clip configuration better. It snaps right into place like that. Look how deep that deep carry clip is. Only the top ridge of that is gonna be sticking out of your pocket or pouch. I mean, this is a compact flashlight. It's a AAA battery light, and it's just barely the size of a AAA battery. I love the look of this thing. It's almost like an art piece. It's a beautiful light, it works great. And it fits in pretty much any pouch or pocket that you wanna stick it into. Kinda of just have it slid off here to the side in the water slider. 
Now, down here in the front, if you watch my shorts, you've seen this before, but I've not done a full length video on this thing yet, and I love it. This is from Caribre Leather. This is a leather magnetic fidget slider, yeah. Take a look at this. So, can you see on the inside these little bumps that we've got going on here? These are each two by three magnets embedded and then sewn into the leather on this. It is just so satisfying to play with. This guy's not completely silent. It makes a little noise, but you also can go nice and slow and give it a little extra pressure and it won't make much noise. You also can kind of go like this. and make a lot more noise if you so desire. Go up and down like this, and give it a little turn, pull it to the side. You can do sort of like a Lottie shuffle kind of thing if you want. Check out the patina I am getting on this guy. It is awesome. Caribre Leather is a one-man dude on SD. I'm link in the description below. He makes some of these and puts them on the site. He also does customs. You can pick what color leather you want, if it's painted leather or a type of natural leather, the kind of string that you want it to have on it. Uh, very customizable and a really nice, good dude. I. I appreciate you very much for sending me one of these to review, and I haven't given you really the attention that I think that these things deserve. One of the things that gets people when it comes to pocket trash and fidget toys is the price. There are a lot of really nice, really expensive fidget toys out there on the market today, and these are very very affordable. They're handmade, and I love that artisan quality when it comes to a fidget toy, that this was made by a person. Omens really do that for me, for instance. This retains that it was made by hand by a leather craftsman, but at the same time, you can get one of these for like 50 bucks. Now, it depends on what size you get, what kind of leather that you want on it and stuff like that. There are some really expensive, super nice kinds of leather out there, like this one. But, you can also get some cheaper stuff made and get yourself a really, really satisfying fidget toy for a really good price. This is the Caribre Leather Magnetic Slider Fidget Toy. I love it. This little guy just gets tucked right here in that front pocket. And then behind that, let me get down in there, way down in there, we've got this. This is a brass coin. This is called the Code Coin. and It is by Black Flag EDC over on Instagram. Check them out. They've been dropping a number of different kinds of coins. This one says, live by the code, tell the truth. The Pirate's Code, rule number one, always tell the truth so you don't incriminate yourself by lying. Now, what's the point of an EDC coin? Well, it stems from worry coins of days of old. This was my grandfather's World War II worry coin. Look at that thing, man. You cannot even tell any detail on that face. My grandfather told me that he would keep this coin in his pocket all of the time. And when he was in a stressful or difficult moment in life, he would say, where's my thing? He'd find the thing in his pocket and say, oh, there's my thing. And he would just play with it. He would think about it, he would focus on it, put it in his hand, rub it, and just let all of his anxiety go into this object. They call that object grounding these days. I love the idea of object grounding. I think that it works really well, and you can do it with any kind of fidget toy you want. I myself am not a huge worry coin fan. My grandfather taught me the ways, but I've really applied it to just any kind of fidget toy out there. But this, this really matches the theme of today's brass and copper episode, so I thought that I would include it. I think a worry coin is another cheap EDC fidget toy option for a lot of people. There, are, This is a sold out coin, but there are a lot of different sites that are out there. I'll link some in the description below where you can get cheaper coins like this. They don't have to be this big. They're great if you're into magic and stuff like that. If you just want to try out this fidget tool lifestyle, a coin is a great entry into this space. Once again, all the way behind everything else in this back section of the pouch. Zip that thing up, and back here 
in this little zippered section, I've got something that I assume everyone who watches my videos is expecting. From Lautier EVC and designer Nico from their Spy Wars series. This is the Trimetal Brass, Copper, and Zirconium Mechanic Fidget Spinner Ring Thing. I don't really know what you should call this, but it is a magnetic tactile worry stone ring thing that you just sort of spin. There's a lot of different ways you can play with this thing, but it's all predicated on putting it on your finger and pushing it forward and backwards. You can watch my video where I completely take this thing apart. You can watch my other video where I unbox this one, but it has a section of up to eight magnets on the inside. I have two in here now. You can really tune it how you want. More of that tactile feedback of hitting it from spot to spot, or more of that free spin so it just can spin and spin and spin. Kind of up to you. These are fun little fidget spinners that are designed to go on your half knuckle. You can't push it any further forward. I wear size small gloves, so these aren't that big but it's by design. If you actually put this on a finger where it does go all the way and you spin it like this, that kind of hurts a little bit on that webbing on your finger. So it's designed to go on that half knuckle section right there and just give you that really nice spin feeling. I love a good magnetic fidget toy. You know if you watch my channel. But these are really, really great. They kind of give omens a run for their money. They have a lot of the, the same, you can roll it around your finger kind of feel to it as an omen. But with this added tactile click to it, you can't wear them as a whole ring. These are not single finger knucks because of the way the inner portion of the bearings work. You probably could hit someone. You break your finger and potentially break the bearings on the inside of this and ruin your like $90 to $100 fidget toy. Now. Lautier EDC is known for clones. You can go onto Etsy and places like that and find cheap knockoffs of these. I do not suggest buying knockoff products of any type. It has nothing to do with Lauti and, and wonderful maker culture and all that stuff. I mean, it does a little bit. The QC and quality control that goes into making a product. When it's your name on a product, it affects your business's reputation, the quality that people assume that they want to pay for that. So when you buy a knockoff, you're going to have this less experience, right? Something might not be right. The edging might not just be champered exactly right or whatever it is. You will actually imprint that opinion onto Lauti, even though you bought this from some random AliExpress seller or something like that. So I don't suggest buying clones. That's just me. You do you and buy whatever you like with your money. But man, do I love the Lautier mechanic. I love it so much that I've got two of them. This is the original version in stainless steel and zirconium, and my new thematic brass and copper one for this orange pouch dump. Once again, zip that zipper pocket open, and slide that guy right inside. And that concludes this thematic orange pouch dump of the Data Crew slider in 400 denier fabric. These are awesome. These were released late last year. They are coming again in 2023. So if you're not already on the Data Crew mailing list, sign up for notifications. Drops happen every Friday, including a lot of these patches I showed you today. So be ready for that because they're coming today if you're watching this the day I released the video. And if you're going to order from Data Crew, I suggest you use my discount code. Code XERO15 will get you 15% off your entire order just for being a fan of mine here on YouTube. I don't get any kickbacks, but I asked Carlos and Milk of Data Crew if they would hook you up, and they said, of course. So thanks once again, Carlos and Milk, for the sweet hookup for the fans of Zero Style. Well, that concludes the Pouch Dump episode for this week. I hope you enjoyed it very much. I love making these videos. If you did, give me a like. It's the free social currency here on YouTube. Click these boxes appearing on my face as I do this outro if you want to watch more of my videos right now. And if no one has told you today, you are a rad person who deserves love and praise just like everybody else in this world. Get out there and have some fun, and I'll see you in the next one. Later on!